All right, what I got here is way too many Craftsman LT1000s. These are all pretty much the same, except these both have twins. This one, my personal, has the Kohler command. And so what I get going on, right now I'm actually swapping these two's motors. So this one has a good chassis, good everything, not bent axle, uh, but the motor, as happens with a lot of these old opposed twins, it's got a pretty bad, I don't know where it is. I think it's in here. Bad sump gasket leak. This one's in great shape. And it does not have a sump gasket leak. But the axle's starting to bend. Frame cracked a bit. That's not what this video is about, though. What I want to show you guys is <laughs> the steering is awful on these older ones. This is the ones that have the old sector gear. Well, this is one of the two. This, I mean, that's how much play we have. And it's such a struggle to get the wheels to turn to the right. I know the tie rod's off on that right now. This is another one. The other one that I'm making for myself. It's, it's got an abysmal amount of play. It's always that plastic piece. It's just a bad design. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is what I already did to this one, which is swap it out. I don't know if you can see in there. Can you see it? Eh, it's kind of hard to tell. This one has um, the updated steering. When I get the parts, I'll show you guys what I mean. This one has <laughs> minimal play. This steering is much easier and there's no problems with it that happened. So I already did the swap on this one. I did it a couple years ago and it's been fantastic on this mower. Uh, this is my personal Kohler Command LT1000 with the electric PTO. So I'm going to do that on this one and I'll show you guys how I do it. So you can do it to your own if you still have one of these. So what I'm gonna do is put the old motor on this thing and try and sell it for like a hundred bucks or something. Give it to someone who needs parts. So stay tuned. All right, parts are here, so we'll get started with the swap. So there's four bolts that hold this on at the bottom. You can see them sticking through, so you have to go underneath, pull them out. And then take the steering column off, which I'll get to in a second. Here's the two parts you need. You need the steering assembly, which is this. And then you'll need the drag link, which is, I believe, part number 175121. That's all you need to do this swap. So I'll get the old steering components taken out and then show you how the new ones go in. Right, so we got the old steering out. This is the old one with this old sector gear. And the problem always ends up with this plastic piece right here. See the play? This thing wears. And it'll end up not stripping these, but it'll just bow out, cause these teeth not to line up anymore. It's where all your play comes from. We're ditching this, this entirely, and we're going to go with the newer style, which is this here. This is what all the modern mowers use. This is, I believe, off a 2003 or 2004 Craftsman. Same exact steering shaft. Almost. That's the old, that's the new. But with this, it's much more sturdy, minimal play. And this is your new swing arm as opposed to this. So rather than forward to back, side to side, which is why you need to replace the drag link. So this is the old one. It's this long bar. And this is the new one here. Like I mentioned, it's shorter. And what we have to do is line it up where it needs to go and cut a small hole for this to go through right here. So this has to sit, go through the frame. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a hole. I'll show you that hole and then we'll paint it so it doesn't rust. And then uh, should be good to go. So if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because uh, they stopped making these old opposed twins in 2002. It really was. Briggs stopped making them. They went to all V-twins. <clears throat> and 
once they did that, they switched steering styles. So you can only get that with a B-twin. So I'm trying to get the best of both worlds, keeping the old opposed twin with the better style steering shaft right there. So next step will be mocking this all up, trying to cut a hole and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here's how I marked it up or mocked it up. So I got this all set, ran it through, set it on top of the frame, roughly how it's gonna go. And I threw a couple of spots of spray paint down to mark this center. What I'm gonna do is drill a square, leave me some space in front. Then I can drop this thing in, drill the holes for where the bolts are gonna go and get this thing set up. So this is the mock-up. I'll cut the hole, see how it works. I'll try and give you guys some dimensions. So if you're cutting this, you don't have to bother with this part. You just make the cut. All right, so I got it mocked up. One of the things you want to do is remove the dash um, in order to, so in order to get this in with the shaft, you're going to need to pull the dash off, slide it in, and then you can put the dash on. Doing so just means you got to take the adjustment lever out. Uh, that's pretty much it. And then a couple, four, one here, two down here, one bolt over there. So what I did, I cut the hole here. I actually made mine a little far forward. I didn't need to go that far. Um, you can really start back there. I'd say it's it's right around three and a half, probably three and a half inches or so back from the engine hole. Now, I've got it all mocked up. Make sure you get your bushing on. You wanna make sure the sector gear here is right in the middle. Attach your drag link here and bottom under there. And make sure you're aligned, which mine is, right in the middle. That's pretty darn good right there. So what I did now, spray paint inside each of the holes. What I'm going to do now, I got it marked. I'm going to actually drill a pilot hole in each one of these. And then I'm going to pull this back all apart, drill the holes out to the correct size, and then bolt it in. And uh, at that point, we should have working steering, but that's how you would do this. So it's really about making this hole right here. It's probably about, I left my tape measure in the house, but this is probably about an inch, two inches wide. Maybe it starts about four inches back, only runs about that thick, which is maybe about two inches. So in all, you're making a two inch by two inch hole to fit this right through. We're gonna spray paint this, protect it for rust, get this all bolted in start getting it back together so when i get that bolted in i'll show you guys how the new steering works all right it's all back together well not all back together still gotta get the motor on or finished up but the steering's all set so i i welded those corners i cut a little bit just so that it never cracks but works great and the only play I get is from the front axle play that just, it just needs to be tightened, I believe. But there's no more play in the actual steering. That's actually, that's all the play you end up getting in the actual steering right there. So hope this helps.